welcome to this vlog you guys it is friday afternoon starting off the weekend vlog here we are going to do my sheets right now since it's about time they get a wash of course somebody just had to jump right up since you know we're about to do the sheets you want to be a ball he just ran around with my neighbor's dogs that's why he's painting huh is that so funny Mm. I feel like I try to wash my sheets like once a week. Maybe it ends up being like a week and a half. Just whenever I think it's about time. Huh. Are you going to help mom? Or are you going to lay there and be no help at all? <laughs> yeah, probably no help at all. It's literally not even 5 o'clock, you guys. And I'm ready for dinner. I'm hungry. And I have been thinking... About how I need a pokey bowl. You want to come on a car ride? You can get coffee with me and I'll get a pokey bowl. We'll have an early supper, okay? How does that sound? He's literally like my child. <laughs> he gives me company. I tell him everything we're doing, like you would tell a kid. Right now we're changing the sheets. We want to go on a car ride. He knows that. You love that, huh? For him to get dinner, and then you'll have your dinner. Does anyone else do this? I'm so weird. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm like lazy, like I grew up doing that. I feel like I'll put my pajamas that I wore. Because I'll wear my pajamas like two nights in a row, you know? Like, I don't know if that's gross, but I feel like I'm clean and I just sleep in like a t-shirt and shorts. So then you get the gist. I'm sure you guys repeat PJs sometimes. But I'll put them like between my pillows so that they're there when I need them the next night. And I feel like that's something odd that I do. Or is that like normal? Like Max definitely does not do that. So he's always like, why is there clothes in the bed? It's kind of weird making the bed and then I like shove my pajamas in there. I just thought about how weird that is and that's something that you guys probably don't know about to me. Yeah. I'm just gonna start a load of sheets, throw on my new set. Actually, I might start a load of my sheets. Go get the Pokeball and then put on the new set because I'm feeling hungry. See, this is such an issue. I always have to make my bed around him and I have to take the sheets off around him too. <laughs> Normally he lets me wrap him up in them. So that's what I was gonna do. Where'd he go? Why is such a pain? Do you love or are you done with me? You had it up to here. Mm. Bestie boy. Okay, come on. Come help me do laundry. And then we're gonna go on a car ride. <laughs> Off to pick up supper <laughs> since I'm gonna eat so early. I feel like I thought this guy looked kind of like pretty and pinkish, maybe not. Oh, did you just burp, sir? <laughs> Who else is ready for it to be lighter later than five o'clock? Because I guess you can't really tell it still looks bright, but like it's getting dark and it's freaking five o'clock. I'm ready for it to get dark at like seven or eight again. No, like eight o'clock when it gets dark at eight, like that's ideal. I love that. An eight o'clock sunset. Can't wait. You guys live in Allentown, best pokey place ever. Oh, buddy. <laughs> the bag is acquired, you guys. I am so excited right now. Can't wait to bring you home, and I usually inhale it at the speed of light, so <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Sweet pea. Do you have a nice car ride? Yeah. Okay, don't mind the washer going. Clearly, I'm washing sheets, as you guys saw. But look how good this looks. I'm so excited right now. Sorry, I really should have closed the laundry door, but I can't leave another second. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I get pretty much the same thing every time. I got white rice, spring mix, edamame, avocado, corn, seaweed salad, tuna, spicy mayo, eel sauce, scallions. I think I got crispy onion and masago this time too, which sometimes I do. And I also added salmon which i used to always do salmon and spicy tuna together i haven't done both in a while and i was like this needs to be filling and packed to the brim because i'm so hungry so yeah that's the best order ever in case you're wondering
saw I just made my bed with my Brooklyn Inn cheat set. Shout out Brooklyn Inn for sponsoring this video. I am your number one fan, okay? All of my sheets are Brooklyn Inn. They're the best sheets ever. And I literally don't sleep as well in any other sheets. Like, they're just so cozy. Look who already jumped on the bed because it's so cozy, he couldn't resist. <laughs> you cozy? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is why he's in our bed every night because he likes our sheets. He's like, oh yeah, these are the nice ones. Thanks for putting these on, mom. Okay, ignore, Max's nightstand is like so nasty, so just ignore, mine's like a little bit neater. I just have like a journal and a book going on over there. Anyway, you guys, this is my most ideal setup. Fresh sheets, all white is my kind of vibe. It's just very relaxing. It feels like a little spa, very zen. That's my thing, the all white bed kind of hard with the top he gets it pretty dirty but just know on Brooklinen there's over 20 colors and patterns to choose from so you don't have to do just boring old white like me but if you're into that they have the best crisp white sheets okay I have the Lux hardcore bundle on my bed right now it is my favorite out of all their styles I actually just the sheets that I just had on that you guys saw I was taken off in the beginning those are the heathered cashmere ones which are just a little bit more like luxurious literally have cashmere in them they're really really soft they're like buttery soft a little bit harder with pets their nails can like stack like they're just a little bit more delicate I would say they're just really luxurious and nice and like warm feeling these don't make you like as hot when you're sleeping these are good because we've been getting kind of hot we're like get hot when you sleep and these are just like their best selling really buttery soft and smooth bottom line is it feels like you're sleeping in like a luxury hotel when you're in these sheets it's the sateen fabric it's just so so nice i said it's the hardcore bundle basically with their bundles you save at 25 percent the bundle comes with the duvet cover the sheet set and an extra set of pillowcases which is perfect because we have a lot of pillows going on back there but i can't I can't forget to tell you guys that right now Brooklyn Inn has a President's Day sale going on. So all Brooklyn Inn items are 15% off through February 23rd. It's a perfect time to try out Brooklyn Inn or stock up on your favorites. If you're already obsessed like we are, <laughs> up close and personal. I mean, you guys know my bath mats, Brooklyn Inn. My towels, oh, they have the best towels, especially the bath sheets, those like big cozy ones, Brooklyn Inn. My bath robe, also Brooklyn Inn. I am a Brooklyn Inn stan. So again, I'll have Brooklyn Inn linked down below. This is the time to take advantage, people, during the President's Day sale. 15% off. I feel like they rarely have sales across the whole website like this. So if you want to sleep so well, like we do, in the coziest sheets ever, check them out. Okay, now I need to get ready for bed because this is making me so sleepy. And I just want to crawl on in because broke. Finally tucked in. I feel so good being in fresh sheets. Nothing is better. You guys know. You see who's laying besides me? He's literally a human. His head kind of slid off the pillow, but a second ago it was like fully like right here on the pillow. I help him get situated. I'm like, okay, put your head on the pillow. <laughs> my bestie. Normally I try not to be on my phone, especially like I never bring my laptop in bed like ever, but I brought my laptop in bed because I to watch a little bit of Emily in Paris before we go to bed. I think I'm bad with screens before I go to bed when I'm here alone when Max is in here because I like get in bed and like I'm alone and don't have someone to like talk to so I just want to text with my sister or just I don't know be on my phone scroll whatever. I literally don't know the last time I brought my computer in bed like I never do that but we got it for Emily in Paris so we're gonna watch a little of that and head to bed. Nighty night. See ya tomorrow. Also I think I haven't even mentioned did I mention already? It's Max's birthday weekend. That's probably gonna be like the title of the vlog because his birthday is actually on Monday, but he's traveling for hockey, which is so like stinky. I'm like, you're literally gonna be sitting on a plane like on your birthday, but hopefully he can like celebrate with his team or whatever. But we're celebrating Sunday, which is also Super Bowl Sunday. So we have to figure that out because we've had dinner reservations for like over a month. And then we were like, wait a minute, realizing that that's Super Bowl Sunday, we're like, oh, we'd probably like hang out with his team and have like a party or go to a bar or something so we have to see but it is his birthday weekend and yeah it's gonna be so fun so that's why i thought i'd just bring you guys along for the whole weekend <sighs> it's the next day 
kind of freaking out. It's fine. It's totally gonna be okay. Like I was telling you guys last night, I believe. Max's birthday is on Monday. But he's not gonna be here. So our whole plan was, did I tell you this yesterday? Our plan was to go out to dinner tomorrow, which we're still trying to decide if we want to do because now I think his team is having a Super Bowl party. So then do we just not go to dinner? And he's like, well, then we can do one like dinner when we get back. But then his birthday gets combined with Valentine's Day. So it's like such a struggle. Also, it just hit me last night. I'm like, Okay, if we're literally celebrating his birthday tomorrow, like pretending it's his birthday, like I literally have nothing. No, I don't have nothing. I just, oh, I get so much anxiety. His birthday is not at a good time. It's actually the worst time because it's the day before Valentine's Day. He's always away playing hockey. It always gets all messed up. It gets like combined with Valentine's Day and I just feel bad for him. I told him it reminds me so much of how my dad's birthday is July 3rd. And so it was always like combined with 4th of July. We'd always be like in the car driving on the 3rd of July and he'd like maybe get presents in the car or something. Like I feel like they just get kind of gypped. So I'm trying to make it special. I'm kind of in a time crunch. <laughs> Shocker. It literally is 3.50. So do we think in three hours, his game's at seven. In three hours, am I able to shop, buy things for cake, balloons, decorations, stuff like that, bake the cake, frost the cake, completely shower and get ready and be on time to this game? I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> I also just got smart and I was gonna go to Target and Wegmans. Target to get like decorations and stuff like that. I literally don't even think, I wanted to do like a double layer cake. Am I making this too complicated? Like one of those cute circle ones? To me that's like a birthday cake. I don't even think we have circle cake bands so I need to find those. And I was like, yeah. So I was gonna go to Target and then Wegmans. But I think all this stuff, like the food stuff I need, I can get at Target as well. So hopefully this will help me save a little bit of time. Uh, yeah, we're gonna run it right now. Wish me luck and try to buy, find a big two and a big eight balloon for 28. Like a garland, you know, you get the gist. Okay, sending prayers. <laughs> I mean, I'm sending prayers for myself. Also, you guys send prayers for me. And last thing I wanted to say, no, I'm not the most horrible girlfriend ever. <sighs> Maybe just I could have planned ahead a little bit more. But pretty much there was this one like kind of like big fancy gift that I wanted to get him. But I didn't realize how hard it is to get my hands on this specific item. It's quite difficult. And I spent like an hour yesterday calling around all these different locations around me. Yo see in the future hopefully he gets his hands on it one day so that was like a big yeah no luck there and I'm like okay I barely have anything if you guys saw I did get him like a custom Yeti but that's just like something little if you saw in a recent vlog I showed that which is so funny because literally today he stole my Yeti and I was thinking in my head like okay this is such good timing that I'm giving him his then because I'm like where's my mug I can't find it and he was like I had to take it <laughs> I left my other one at the rink and I'm like good thing you're getting your own soon but yeah. Oh, the one nice thing I wanted to get him, I just didn't know it was gonna be so difficult to get my hands on. Okay, I'm procrastinating. I gotta go. <laughs> it's time crunch. Okay, I left my camera in here because I was trying to be quick. I still feel like I took too long. And the most important thing was probably the cake pans because I just need that to make cake. And they had one circular cake pan, but you need like two to do the double layer. So I'm thinking I could bake one and then bake the other, but then it'll take that much longer. It's time that I don't have. So we shall see. I think I have like a pie glass dish. I wish you guys could answer me in real time with that work. I don't know, but it's not like a cake tin. I don't know. Also, my coffee's making me more anxious. I'm already anxious that is, it is. And I spoiled that myself to make my afternoon even more chaotic. Vegetable oil go bad, you guys. That didn't really smell good. Hopefully. I'm so freaked out because I just went to look back because my screen was black. I'm like, did it even film me whisking? Is that what it's called? The batter? And it cut out right before I started whisking right there, but it only ever like shuts off like that if my camera dies or I run out of memory card space, which I didn't. So what did that happen? Did you shut it off, Brody? Of course, right as I'm whisking, but I just did that for like two minutes. Here goes nothing. The one <laughs> glass one, the one metal one. This should be interesting. It also said just to grease it, but I greased it and floured it because I feel like double layer cakes, like I've done that before, I feel like flouring makes it easier. Maybe that's just in my head, but here we go. Oh, I don't, I'm really bad at estimating. I'm not gonna know like how much is half, you know? Okay. <laughs> also, I was just thinking how, I don't think Max or I, no Brody, have ever like made each other a cake. 
for our birthdays. And I was just saying to him the other day how for my birthday, that's kind of like all I want. I just don't want someone to make me something because everyone says they can't ever get me anything because I just buy whatever I want, which is really true. But like all I want is someone to show that they care by like putting in time and effort. <laughs> like bake me something so extravagant, it takes like hours. No, but I don't know, do you guys know what I mean? I don't know. So although this is just like a little box, I'm sure I could have made like it from scratch. I was saying it would have been better, but probably I would have messed it up somehow. This is a little bit more foolproof. I still think this is so fun to like make a homemade cake, you know? Just like it shows effort. Okay. I don't know if these are even at all or if they're gonna like line up right because they're kind of like different shape pans. But here we go. <laughs> here goes nothing. Uh oh, my little beaters are. Oh, that's what it's called. I was beating the cake. They're dripping everywhere. Okay. You two behave in there. <sighs> Praying that these turn out okay. Okay, somehow we're doing okay on time. I don't know how. It's 6 37, so I gotta kind of hurry this up. But while the cakes cooked i showered oh my hair's looking kind of crazy <laughs> and then while they were cooling i did my makeup in my hair so we're ready that's good now just time to frost the cake this is gonna drive me nuts why do i have breakage okay maybe because i've bleached my hair since i was nine just a thought anyway my aunt chris taught me this hack where i wish i had like a pretty cake stand or something i looked at target they didn't have one she taught me that you put paper towels down so that when you're frosting it afterwards you pull out the paper towels and it doesn't have frosting all over the plate and i always hate how i get frosting all over the place and then it like looks ugly so she taught me how to do that okay i put these in the fridge to cool they've honestly been cooling for a while i'm so happy that i had enough time for them to cool because i like didn't think i was gonna i'm feeling like this should go on the bottom Let's just do it moment of truth don't you go like frick i forget how to do this don't you have to like knock on the bottom oh it's glass my knuckles are so bad okay i don't know if that's actually a thing oh no <laughs> brody help okay oh yeah, maybe I should start with this. Like, am I literally good? Maybe I'll loosen it up on the sides. But like, I greased it. Please just fall on out really easily. Please, please, please. I just pull it out with my fingers. Did I cook it too long? This one's feeling kind of crisp. Okay, I'm just kind of loosening it up. Uh oh, please don't tell me that it's breaking. <gasps> Wait, I think it's working. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Okay, not bad, like a little camera. Wow. Okay, well now it's upside down. Okay. It's actually totally cool, but I'm so happy that I had time to do that. Okay, we're doing good. Now I know the process for this one. I love how I just thought by hitting the bottom, I got my knuckles, it's gonna fall in it. Oops, and then this one is up. But I feel like I remember doing this as like a kid. As a kid, I'm making my double layer cakes. Should I try like loosening it? When I get my hands on the side and kind of pull. Oh, wait a minute. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I have to frost this first, don't I? <laughs> okay, clearly you can tell. I baked a cake literally in like, I'm not kidding, 10 years. It feels like I'm gonna eat this frosting. And obviously, I don't even know if this is Max's favorite, but we went with yellow cake, vanilla cake, yellow cake, with chocolate frosting is the superior cake. Come on, that's like everyone's favorite. Or if it's not, it should be. Yay. I hate when the cake like is breaking when you're frosting it and then you have pieces of the cake like in your frosting. Let's not jinx it. Oh, I think it just broke right there, I jinxed it. Okay, that looks good enough. I am such a rookie. I left like space right there. So then it's gonna get on the plate. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. We're chilling. That one is even better. Like this is the right kind of pan. Why is this getting crumbs everywhere? I hope these are like the same size. Oh yeah, that worked out great. No one's gonna know. But it wasn't the right kind of pan. Okay, we might end up getting like 10, 15 minutes late to the game. But the life hack I've learned is that 7 o'clock games, the puck drop is at like 7.15. So if I leave at 7, I'll literally still be on time. 
Let me see the picture. I guess I just miss like the opening kind of things like national anthem, you know? But yeah, this is what I've learned being a late girly for events that I often try to be on time for. I learned all the hacks. This is gonna be so good, I'm so excited. He's gonna be so surprised. He's gonna be like, when the heck did you have time to do that? But also I'm realizing he was away and I should have freaking done this yesterday when he wasn't here, but I literally didn't think of it till today. I was like, you know what, I wanna make him cake. So I sprang into action. Okay, this is not as hard as you would think and doesn't take as long as you would think. Easy peasy. Hopefully it turns out good, we shall see. Set it down. Mmm, that's really freaking good. I'm so nervous. Moment of truth. Also, my arm is like sore from doing that. Okay, so far so good. It's on the plate a little bit, but definitely cleaner than if I didn't do that, you know? Wow, okay. If you guys are gonna do a cake, do that because I feel like that made it way better. Okay, now time to decorate. I don't know if I should do this now or tomorrow since we're gonna have it tomorrow. I feel like now. Got this confetti type stuff. I have an idea of putting it like all around the sides. This might be a little challenging. Like, do I just throw it at it? And then I also got these little candy letters. I wanna say like, I could do happy 28th birthday, Max, or just happy birthday, Max. Maybe just happy birthday. Uh, should I just, then how am I gonna get them off? I should have done this before I took off the paper towels because then they're all gonna be all around the sides. Oh my gosh. Okay, should I just like press them into it with my fingers? Wait, this is gonna be so hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what my plan was. This is already making a mess. Can you guys see Brody? He's just watching me. He's probably like, what the hell are you doing? I literally am throwing and making a big mess in the process. I just don't know how else to do this. Okay, it's kind of working a little haphazardly. I feel like this is the whole fun part of it being a homemade cake, right? Okay, this is fun. I use the whole container of sprinkles. I literally am. Okay, but like fun. Should I bring it up around the sides a bit? Well, then I guess the frosting job on the side didn't matter that much. Do I see the amount of sprinkles I'm getting everywhere? Woo, okay, turned out better than I thought. This cake looks a little like uneven. Okay. <laughs> I also need to clean up every trace of like cooking a cake or else Max is gonna be like, what the heck did you do? And I have to hide it. So I want it to be surprised tomorrow. Okay, like we're doing good. I don't know how this idea just came to mind. Like it turned out cute. And there's like a pool of sprinkles all around it. So it makes it kind of look like pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do the words and then I'll show you when I'm done. You guys, I don't care what anyone says. This is so cute. No, they're probably not centered or perfect or whatever, but I just feel like this is really cute and better than like a store-bought one, you know? Did I like, I feel like I spelled something wrong or something's wrong. <laughs> It just looks kind of funny, but like, it's homemade, okay? <laughs> this is gonna be so good. I can't wait to show Max tomorrow. Okay, my battery died. Just grabbed a new one, but I was saying Max is gonna be so excited tomorrow. He's gonna be like, when the heck did you do this? And I have candles that I'm gonna put like all around the side. I feel like that'll look so cute. I can't wait. Hit the cake, all ready to go. Threw this together really quick. My new Zara jacket I love. I can link for you guys. Did I show in my last vlog? Yeah, I think in my last vlog. And then just doing like all black underneath, black bag, it's black and brown okay together. I feel like when it's like this, yeah. Okay, off we go.
open that. <laughs> but I can't open this to get a plate. I'm gonna have to move. Or I guess I kinda can, that's gonna like rip. I'm gonna have to move that to me. Okay, I think my pancakes are coming out in weird shapes. So I'm just like pouring it from the bowl. I should have got a cup because I'm kinda like long. They're like ovals. Okay, I feel like I haven't made pancakes in so long. I'm like, why am I so bad at it? <laughs> I can't. Oh, also, I fixed. Right? Now we can open the cabinets a little more centered. We're doing great. I told Matt he fully has to hide in our room because he's awake. It's 10 30. <laughs> Taking so long. Pancakes keeping warm in the oven. And we've got some cut up strawberries really small to go on top of the pancakes. I thought that would be good. The rest of the cut up strawberries, I just made some scrambled eggs. I didn't even show you. Bacon. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go get them. Oh, and then of course, the cake. I have a bowl on top of it because I didn't have like a proper cake. And, you know. Okay, here we go. Should I close my eyes? Sure. What do you see? Should I touch it? No, no, Brody, no, man. <laughs> did you bake me a cake? Yeah, I did. Oh, <laughs> you like so it? I love it. <laughs> it's made with homemade love. Wow. That's why you wanted some. <laughs> Are you so surprised? Mm -hmm. Birthday boy. What kind of pancakes are these? They smell good. They're like cinnamony, the purely Elizabeth ones we like. Yeah. Yes, I can. <laughs> Max loved his decorations. Yeah. He, the first thing he said when he came out was tinsel. It was a nice touch. For right? the like tassels, I guess. I don't think that's tin tinsel. Is like the thing you can get in your hair that really oh, skinny, shiny stuff. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> what else? Oh, he said. Oh, we should tell them this. I don't think we ever told them how. Uh, you were like, you must really love, not hate, because mm -hmm. something they may not know is that if I feel like Max is mad at me or like isn't really loving, I'll be like, you hate. What is that? That's never. <laughs> Literally all the time. It'll be like because you like don't look me in the eye. Mm. It'll be something so small, and I'm like, you hate, you hate. <laughs> but then if I feel loved, I'll be like, oh, you love, you don't hate. Mm -hmm. Okay, right now we are going to one of our favorite places. So this is good. We're celebrating your birthday. Mm -hmm. It's like a fun day. Tell them where we're going. Marianne Donut Kitchen Shop. The best donuts ever. I am gonna have a. I don't even know food, baby. the word. Well, that, yeah, food I probably coma. already have that. Yeah, sugar I'm gonna be in a baby. food coma sugar from coma. all the sugar and stuff today. A donut coma. Like I already just drowned my pancakes in syrup. We're gonna have your cake. We're going to pick up donuts because since it's Super Bowl, mm -hmm. I think we've decided to abandon birthday dinner. I think so. That's so sad. I think I was telling them how we were like, we don't know what to do, but since your whole team's getting together, like, we gotta go be. We can circle back when I return. Yeah, we can combine Valentine's Day and birthday. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so we're gonna pick up our favorite croissant donuts, if you know, you know, to bring to the Super Bowl party. And we're gonna get coffee. That's that. Yep. That's all we got. Let's do it. <laughs> Is it going one? Yeah, it's going. <laughs> you clicked the red button already? Yeah, it's, it's, it's rolling. I didn't even know. Wait, is it actually? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> no. Let's no. look. Let's look, shall we? The same color as out in front of Marion. Oh. Beautiful. Like, do can we have one right now? I don't think I can right now. I'm stuffed from breakfast. You can though. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yum. Mm. What do you think, bro? Nothing is better. I don't even feel watching this. I don't live here. Make the drive. Like, <laughs> just do it. We should have gatekeep. Right there. So okay. See ya. Can get another bite. It's yes. chocolate cream cold brew. I feel like I've had that before, and I didn't like it as much as the vanilla. Nitro I'm getting my pistachio cream. I don't think I've ever had nitro cream. Oh, it's good. I have had that a while back. What do you get? Hi, thank you for choosing Starbucks. How can I help you today? Hi. Could I do a grande pistachio cream cold brew, please? Absolutely. Anything else for you? Um, yes, just one more. Um, Take your time. Um, um, <laughs> thank you, Ben. Just do um, a large, large cold brew. Nothing in? With almond. 
Okay. Um, and then can we do a venti cold brew with almond milk? And two pumps of vanilla. And two oh. pumps of vanilla? Please. Please. Venti cold brew with almond milk and two pumps of vanilla. Anything else? That'll be it. Total's going to be 1082. We'll see you at the window. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank cool. you. She was very patient with us. Yes. Yeah, do you think there's a camera? Like, can she see that I'm trying to get an order from, like, my passenger? Or? Yeah, there's a camera. There is? Yeah. No, it's just a microphone, I thought. How do they know if any cars are there? <laughs> you have to censor on the ground. Wait, what? My mind is blown. I never thought they could, like, see me. What if I'm, like, picking my nose or something? Haven't they, like, when we're there, oh, they're, they're like, do you want, like, a pup cup? Oh. Oh. Oh, I mean a, uh, shmup shmup. <laughs> a shmup dub. Wait, that was so mean I didn't have his window open. Oh. oh, you learn something new every day. I think you've been teaching me so many little things in life recently that I haven't known. Like how those sticks are for like the snow plow. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Like what were other things that I didn't know? And you're like, you didn't know that? Anyway, that's our Starbucks order. Me and my eye, me and my heart. There were donuts in your hair. <laughs> that's Max's rendition of the Lumineer song, Flowers in Her Hair. But I... Donuts in your hair. Because you have donuts in your hair. Is that your song for me now? Yes. Donuts in your hair. I'm tired today. Too. Probably because it's kind of gloomy. Yeah. I think we and need to I start... got back late the other night and we last late. night. I think we need to start a new season of Survivor. Survivor. I'll wait. I'll last. I'll play. <laughs> We're in such a Survivor kick. Cod yawn. And, and blood versus water. And, and fire represents your life, and as soon as it goes out, so are you, you're out of the game. Also, wait, we have to tell them how recently in a vlog when Max was showing groceries he bought, oh, he was yeah. doing a funny voice, and everyone was like, that's the muffins voice, which I have no which idea what that, that is. is. The muffins Can someone voice. tell us what is the muffins voice? What is that from? But he was doing this voice, and it's the voice that Jeff Probst uses. When he goes, want to know what you're playing for? It's cheeseburgers, cold beer, chicken wings. Like, that's the voice he uses, so that's the voice Max is using. Chocolate chip cookies. But no one got it right. Everyone was like, muffins. Hey, which we don't know what that is. Maybe I'll Google it right now. Muffins? I'll look it up. Yeah, I actually have no idea. Because that's not anything to do with Survivor. But yeah, we've been in such a Survivor kick. I think we'll find a new season to start. And we watch all out of order. We're just like, mm -hmm. willy-nilly. What was the first one we started with? David versus Goliath. If you haven't watched any, I feel like that's a good one to start with. Because we loved it. I feel like mm -hmm. that's such a good one. He going crazy. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. oh, he loves it's a big one for this. Oh, God. oh man. God on me. It's getting on your coat. No, not my coat. Oh God, this is a messy one. Whoa, day. His paw, he was like this. He's holding it like this. Oh, okay. Day. Get it in your mouth. Let's take boy. a break and wipe it off your fur. Resume. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Oh, heavens. <laughs> what? Well, right there. Well, that was quick, huh? Right there. Got it. Well, on your lip. Get it. It's on your lip. It's on your lip. Oh, da. Good, good. Good boy. There is so many empty <laughs> pup cups. cups in the side there. That's, that's gross. Disgusting. I need to clean that out. Yeah, that's actually pretty nasty. Okay, you already heard. <laughs> you already heard what we ordered. Ooh. But. You're funny. Now you're awake. Now you're with us. Yes. I think I want to try yours. No. It's my birthday. Please. Yeah, you can have some. <laughs> Feels like it's been my birthday for the last week. Ooh. I really like this. He got, oh, Ooh. you heard cold brew oh. on the vanilla. You know what would be good? If you just got regular cold brew and asked for the brown butter foam. Yeah. Cause I don't even taste pistachio. No, me neither. Just the foam and those little crispies. Wait, this is perfect. Cause sometimes vanilla cream cold brew is too sweet, but a venti with two pumps, or like I would get a grande maybe with one pump. Cold brew. I know that's what I'm saying. Oh. Vanilla cream cold brew is too sweet. So I feel like oh. getting cold brew with. Oh, <laughs> um, milk or oat milk and just adding like a pump or two of vanilla. Like this is so good to me right now. Mm. Me too. Okay, well, don't drink it all. I haven't even tried mine yet. It's okay. good. Okay, well, don't drink it all. Yeah, it's good. Now we gotta return our milk. Did we tell them? <laughs> no. Do 
you guys care about? It's our era of saving money. <laughs> So we have to return our milk because because it came it came open and it and it didn't have a thingy on it a lid. Okay, yesterday it looks like it's been used. Did you use it? Are you no. sure you didn't use no, it? No, I'm okay. This, <laughs> I didn't think they would care to hear the whole story, but here's what happened. Well, of course. Yesterday when I went to Target, I told them I was like my anxiety's through the roof because I'm rushing to make this birthday cake and try to get to. Did you use it in the cake? No. Listen. Listen, listen. In your smoothie. By the no, listen. Are you proud of me, by the way? Because I literally was at Target at four o'clock and I was like, I have three yeah, how hours. Did you make it to the game on to time. To fully get. Oh well, you didn't. Well, I was a little late, yeah. but 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 I was but, pretty dang close. Like I fully went home, made a cake from scratch, right. showered, did my I, hair, did amazing. my makeup already. Anyway, and I you also so beautiful last night. So thank you. Wow. I so got I know off. you can do it quicker than normal. I know. Like if if I'm in a time crunch. Well, I'll probably still be late, but I can be quicker than I typically. Anyway, I got all the cake stuff. But then uh, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Sorry. What did you stop? I need Yeah, but but the second one sounded so aggressive. I said one more. Oh, that's like Okay, listen, everyone. Okay, Stay with me. Got the cake stuff, but it also was like Max was. <laughs> I was about to say bitch. <laughs> I was not. You were not. But he was like, oh, all my almond milk is gone. Because normally I drink the oat milk. He drinks the almond milk. That's just kind of how it's turned into. Because I like oat milk more. Like my almond milk happened to be all. Gone. It was missing because I used it all in like a smoothie. So I was no. like, no. Oh Tell no. Tell them the real <laughs> I reason. I, well, typically I steal it for smoothies. And I forgot this time. Yeah. I ate a big chunk of. <laughs> 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 don't don't no, exclude the details. I, I literally forgot. Which you didn't save me any of the cookie. I had a bite. Well, it would have been gross by the time you got home. It would have been four days old. So you had a whole chocolate chip cookie, <laughs> half of a chocolate chip cookie, and the whole peanut butter cookie. I did. You only got half of one. I only and had I got two and a, half. a bite. Actually, it was probably a bite of the chocolate chip <laughs> on the ride home. And you drank all my almond milk. Okay, so listen. So his almond milk is gone. All I'm trying to say is I bought this almond milk yesterday at Target because I was like, oh, that's the almond milk that I drank of Max's. I'm going to replenish and get it. Oh, also what you didn't even see, I made a smoothie. That was like my dinner last night, basically, because I was in a rush and I brought it on the way to the game. And I take out the almond milk to use in the smoothie and I open up the top and I'm like, wait, there's no seal. And I'm happy I noticed that because I just know I always get the Califia oat milk. He wants a window open. And the almond milk... I know that there's always either like a plastic pull tab or like a foil seal and there wasn't one and I was like oh that makes me feel weird like it was open in the store someone could have went in and just like taken a sip or not yeah. that someone would like put poison in it but I don't know you never know could, and I just could feel be. like they say like don't drink or don't use if the seal is broken so anyway like this has never yeah, happened that's what to they me say, don't break the seal <laughs> So like, I don't know if I tell Target and they give me a new one. I'm not trying to return it. I'm also like, should we just throw it out and buy a new one? But then that seems weird. But also it's probably like, what, three, four dollars? I don't know. Anyway. So we're gonna return it. Like, should we go ask, ask Target? Let's just What go. we do in Come that on. situation? We're wasting time. Let's go. That's the story of the milk. <laughs> It's way later. We just started a new season of Survivor, mm. and I'm feeling sleepy, but I need to get it together because we gotta go to the Super Bowl party. Super Bowl. And Max is gonna shave. So we have to give you guys a before. Also, I was gonna say this to them earlier. He got punched in the face yesterday, so yeah. his nose is like has a boo boo. Does oh. it hurt at all today? No. But you were gonna have like black eye. No. Okay, this is the before. Okay, goodbye. I put a shirt on. <laughs> It's way later. We're back from the Super Bowl party. You don't even want to know what time it is. Mm, I'm too late. I'm also shocked because I thought the Eagles were gonna win. But I needed to show you the update. Look at this boy. Did you guys even recognize From me? a man to a boy. I am a little boy. A little boy. Disregard the 28. It's really <laughs> just an, an eight. Uh, we actually <clears throat> brought the cake. With everybody. And it was a huge with the candles. hit. It was a great hit. Everyone loved it. And everyone said it was so good. I was shocked. It, it really was good. Or maybe people were just good. being nice. No, it was so good. Ass. No, it was really good. The yellow cake combination with the chocolate frosting is That's so good. That's your favorite. I think I would do yellow cake with vanilla frosting. Or vanilla cake with vanilla frosting. Yeah, either one. Maybe your sixth birthday of us being together, I'll get it right. But I loved it. Maybe it for 29. Delicious. Next year's 29. Mm. Don't you dare. <laughs> oh, and it's after midnight, so it's officially your birthday. Woo! Happy birthday. 
It's your birthday. Mm-mm-mm. But go Kansas City, yay. But obviously we're on the Eagles. I know. Being outside of Philly, like I just was like, oh, obviously we're going to win. Brody, go, go slow, buddy. Brody, you've been eating so fast Brody, and then Brody, it comes Brody, back Brody, up. Brody, Brody, Brody. <laughs> anyway. Go slow, go slow. <laughs> that happened the other night. We got back. He was like so excited. He'll like slurp water and eat really quick and literally just open his mouth and so much water. And I'm like, that's what happens when you scarf down. Any other people's dogs do that? So we literally like, bro. Gentle, slow. <laughs> anyway, that was the Super Bowl. This is my outfit. Casual, you know. Hang out with a bunch of kids. Babies like you. Everyone likes me. Oh. <laughs> I'm a likable guy. What can I say? Yeah, but I feel like you're so good with babies. You like talk to them and cuddle them and chat with them. Yeah, I just pretend they're like dogs. A dog. You're yeah. like, oh, boo, boo, boo. I, yeah, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> I never said bye. Never ended off this vlog, but it's already so long. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you guys. So much for watching this vlog. Max's early birthday celebrations turned out amazing. Anyway, love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.